I'm 2 News reporter Simpson Tamajani. Some folks here at Paul Husk are not happy with their city government. After hearing some concerns at our 2 News listening booth at the Tulsa State Fair this week, I paid a visit to hear from folks myself. Residents I met with didn't want to go on camera, but say they have suspicious, or in the case of me recording this shot, yelled out from a passing car that their leaders are corrupt. It doesn't help the town is still without a police chief, a city attorney, a city auditor, and didn't submit an audit to the state last fiscal year. The most recent complaint centers around City Hall itself. The building was unavailable to the public except for appointments Monday through Tuesday morning. That has since spurred mostly negative Facebook comments alleging transparency and First Amendment shortfalls. So I went to city manager Jerry Eubanks, who was filling in for the day with crews to fix a local water main break. We all jumped on this together. Knock it out real quick. Eubanks runs the city Facebook himself and defends the disruption to city hall access. I was on vacation when it occurred, and it had all of our ladies in the office and some of their spouses really, really upset. What was that? Well, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give them the time of day to do that, to notarize it, that. We know, people on Facebook know. Uh, well, for, for those who aren't on Facebook, I mean, just what was it? Was it, it a security it was just, concern? It was someone coming in. They went through the desk, just pilfered uh, through the top of the desk, from my understanding, uh, and just pretty much barged into any office they wanted to. So what exactly was put in Monday and Tuesday? There, there are signs been put up as to where the general public can go and, and not go what you have to get an appointment to, or you just can't go in somebody's office. But resident complaints go back to Eubanks' record too. It's no secret, I, I'm a convicted felon. Mm -hmm. I, I spent time in prison. On top of his past, Eubanks himself is currently accused of multiple felony embezzlement charges in Kay County and Major County. We have those documents under this story on KJRH.com. But the city manager says he's still putting in the work to earn his town's trust. As you can tell, I'm a hands-on guy. This is my community. I want to be here, and I'm going to continue to do my job and do it to the best of my ability. If you got a question, come see me. In Paul Huska, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.